Hello and welcome to this Dr. Ross Maths key skill video on expanding two brackets involving multiples of thirds. Now we covered an example like this in the previous video where we had two brackets, we expanded them out and we had to do some subsequent simplification. The only difference here is that we got numbers in front of the third, so it's three lots of root five rather than just say root five. But we do exactly the same as we did before. We just multiply each thing in the first bracket by each thing in the second. So this three root five in the first bracket, you're gonna multiply by each thing in the second. Let's do that first. If we have three lots of root five and we times by four, well remember we times the non-thirds together first, three times four is 12, and then we times the thirds together, well root five is the only third, it's the only thing with a square root over it, and we get root five. Then we do the three root five times the negative three root five, this is the hardest bit of the question I reckon. Now firstly I get the sign right, so positive times negative is negative, so we don't have to worry about whether it's plus or minus anymore. And then we times the non-thirds together first, three times three is nine. And then we times the thirds together, root five times root five is root 25. And in fact, I'm just gonna leave it as root 25 for the moment, we can simplify that on the next line. And then we do the second thing in the first bracket multiplied by each of the things in the second. So we do the minus two times four, which is minus eight and we do the negative two times negative three root five. Well, negative times negative is positive. Let's get the sign right first. We multiply the non-thirds together, so two times three is six, and then we multiply the thirds together. Well, we've only got the root five, so we just got the root five there. Now, once we've got this far, we can just simplify what we have. So, we've got 12 root five. Um, now, the square root of 25 is just five, 9 times 5 is 45, so it's minus 45. We've got the minus 8 and the plus 6 root 5. And then we sort of like collect like terms together. But instead of algebraic terms, we've got thirds and non-thirds. So let's collect the thirds together first. This is a third, this is a third. 12 lots of root 5 plus 6 lots of root 5 is 18 lots of root 5. And then let's collect the non-thirds together, the things without the square roots. So minus 45, subtract 8, is minus 53. And that is the final answer. In fact, if you were to type this into a calculator, it would simplify to this expression for you. So you can use a calculator to check whether your working is right.